All right, so now it's time to finish some video games. I also decided to, um, I decided to do this post and, um, kind of just, um, just do it. Yeah, just to, like do a post though and just edit out all the in between segments though, just so you can have a smoother, um, transition. So we're just finish gonna finish up Train of Life. Even though it's actually supposed to be Game of Life. Yeah, let's go for gold. I like that, dude. You know, this is actually my first time actually listening to the music, though. I like the old retro music, though. It's good for old people like me. What? <laughs> Oh yeah, this one was all about fucking... Oh god, this one's all about like, RNG manipulation, dude. God, thank god you actually read the book on, um, on it though. Jesus Christ, I fucking hated this one. I just hated it though because, um, it, it's, it's random. You can, even if you don't have the, um, you know, even if you don't get it though, you're, you, you just lose and you just waste your day and I'm just like, wow, that sucks. Alright, yeah, so we did it, though. Thank God. I mean, having the cheat code does make it easier, though, but... This one just sucks, though, because it just relies on RNG. Mm. Oh, shut up. And, oh, yeah, get used to hearing that a lot. I said that so many times when I was doing this. I was just like, dude, Morgana, shut the fuck up, dude. Cheating is good as long as right. no one finds out. Also, just so we don't have to, like, sit here for, like, 10 hours. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, man? You wouldn't understand with your small paws and everything, Mona. You would never understand the life of a gamer. Yeah, like I said, I just cut out all the, um, in-between segments, so it's just... So we get, So we can just go by this faster, though. I left... <clears throat> I resumed on where we left off in the video games, though. You don't have to do it on okay. one playthrough, though, but... I think it's just easier if you just do it this way. You just buy all the video games, and then you just devote like a whole week and a half to uh, beat them all. You got it. Okay, so we're playing Power Institution, which is definitely not Street Fighter, dude. I left this fail in. You'll see why, actually. Oh. And then, since I stunned the enemy, you gotta finish him off with a special move. And I'm like, okay, that shouldn't be hard. And I'm just like, okay. And I'm just like, wait, what? <laughs> this is this is sad because that's I left this fail in because I'm just like <laughs> I can't input a fireball motion confirmed. <laughs> and they even have a good game over music too. That's actually really funny. I can't input a fireball motion. That's fucking hilarious, actually. Yeah. But that's basically what the game is, actually. Power Institution is basically Street Fighter. So, yeah, let's fast forward that and let's try that again. <laughs> there we go, that's better. Yeah, that's basically, yeah. It's like you're actually playing Street Fighter, so you actually do a fireball motion. You do fireball back, actually, for um, Tatsu. It's me, like, <laughs> it's me just rap trying to, like, Trying to wrap my mind about the fact that, wow, all I had to do was literally play Street Fighter. I wasn't sure how I missed it the, how I missed it the first time. I'm just like, dude, I know how to input motion, input motions in fighting games. I know how to play. Jeez. Okay. So the next one is, um... I think this one is about, um, doing Fireball back, so... Yeah. Here against a real Kung Fu artist. Her movements are fast, and I'm just like, wow, that... I'm like, wow, that Chun Li. <laughs> Please, I would laugh so hard if it was Chun Li. Yeah, so it's like, yeah, it's worded. Yeah, like I'm actually not used to act, uh, not used to the game actually in like displaying inputs actually. So that's what threw me off a little bit, because it's supposed to be, uh, down forward, or left or whatever, back. Yeah, yeah, down forward, back though. That's basically what they call it in fighting game terms. Alright, and then literally the next day, we just go and play the last level. 
<laughs> That's the great part about um, winter when you don't have to go to school. You don't have you can just stay in and just play video games all day, dude. It's so good. All right, I don't even know who this old woman's supposed to be. I'm pretty sure we're not even like referencing Street Fighter anymore. Oh. Okay, so we'll take everything we learned. They, I'm surprised they gave you a lot of time for this one though, and they don't give you a, a lot of time for the uh, other ones. I'm like, ah! I'm not used to, and I'm just like, ah! I'm not used to doing fireball back. Yeah. All right. So this is like, it's literally a half circle motion. <laughs> yeah, it's a half circle motion with the right at the end, which I'm, and I'm just like, wait, but that's not how you do half circle motion. <laughs> Thank god I know how to input- Thank god I play fighting games. Actual fighting games. Alright. Now let's enjoy beating Street Fighter arcade mode. That's basically what you just did. Yeah, you get these- um, these cards are actually useful at the very end though. You give it to, um, a shop in Akihabara. And you get, um, an, an, um, an accessory off of it. And I'm just like, yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> that sounds good. Um, it's basically another dice game. Oh, God. I think this is like, um... I think this is, you only have to beat this two times, though. Don't quote me on that, though. So I think with Goemon's cheat, actually, I think he manipulates the, he manipulates the, the dice. So it goes in your favor. Don't quote me on that, though. I mean, if it, if we show, if it pops up, we'll we'll know. So you know, there's like another 50/50 chance. You know, you can get like even or odd, and I'm just like, okay, I got you. And I'm just like, well, it's 50/50, so I'm just gonna get even. And I'm just like, oh, okay, neat. Oh. Yes. <laughs> I know. I'm just like, damn Yusuke, does this really symbolize your persona? Being lucky or something? <laughs> Probably not. Alright. Now it's time for the next part. Okay. And I'm just like, hell yeah dude, don't make the game easier. <laughs> yeah dude. <laughs> if I can manipulate RNG in a game, I'll gladly activate the cheats. I don't even know what reference- I mean, I don't even know if this is actually a reference to another Atlas game or just any game, really. But, nah. And I'm just like, oh, I didn't mean to press that. You need to win two out of three to truly succeed. Otherwise, you lose and have to do the whole game all over again. All right, and I'm just like, well, I'll, I guess I'll just guess, dude. It's literally 50-50. I don't know what you want me to do. And I'm like, oh, I got odd. But then... For real? <laughs> yeah, what a fucking cheater. <laughs> there you go. That's that's how you win in Goemon, dude. Oh man, I, dude, if it actually works both times, I would laugh my ass off. Uh, that's nine. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh. Woo! Yes. <laughs> I won thanks to the power of cheating. Damn, I love video games. <laughs> Especially when I had to cheat to win them. Mm. Yeah, persistence is cool. No, it wasn't. It was thanks to the power of cheating. <clears throat> well, thank God you only have to do it like two times. I guess it's compensation for the fact that like, oh, if you mess up one time, you have to restart again. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. Sucks so much dick. Okay. Alright, I think this is the last video game. The golf game. It's basically like, uh, uh, I've never played any retro um, golf games actually, so I have no idea what to, what to expect. <laughs> hmm. 
But like I said though, I, well, I, I mean, shout out to the soundtrack. The soundtrack is great. So I mean, it's just like playing any other golf game, really. I'm like, uh... <laughs> yeah. So just as long as it's in the uh, yellow line, like the two yellow parts, left and right, you're good. Red is kind of just like overkill. It's like a perfect shot. But at some point later on, it goes by really fast. I don't think you can like, I, I wonder if you can actually pause the game and do like a pause buffer like they do in speedruns. I don't think you need to though, but hmm. <laughs> I'm just like anytime now. Ah, ha, ha, I got it. Hole in one. All right, well, that was, that was good. Oh, you know what, actually, I think the te technique actually slows down the, um, the meter, so, you know, <laughs> it's not very exciting, but I, I mean, I don't want to stay here for, I don't want to stay here for 10 hours, please. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Continuing on with our golf game. You got it. Oh, so I just have to get, like, a, um... A par. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just have to get a par. Yeah, I know my golf terms. <laughs> I mean, all you really know, need to know is, um... Hole in one, birdie, par, and then there's bogey and double bogey. I think that's all of them, though. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> I think golf is, like, hands down one of the most boring sports to watch. I think it's just because of the fact that it's just so quiet and ambient. God, when people, like, watch it, it's like a fucking funeral. Like, it's so quiet and it's like... Oh god, I can literally fall asleep from this crap. Hmm. Alright. And now we just need to do this one more time. And we're done. Okay. I'm like, hell yeah, dude. Hmm. Hmm. So it's 300, so it's a per par 4 hole? I have to clear it in four strokes, and okay. Well, that's easy. I mean, I know how to shoot. <laughs> I know how to hit. The only golf, you know, honestly though, I th the only golf game I've ever played was the Wii Golf <laughs> in the Wii Sports. Holy shit, that's right. That's the only golf game I've ever played. I've never played like Toadstool Tour with Mario or anything. So I'm just like, wow, okay. I got it, boys. <laughs> God, I know, even with the technique, I still don't get a perfect shot. I mean, it doesn't really, it really doesn't matter. Just as long as you're within that safety window. Hmm. Alright, so it wasn't exciting that I cheated, but it doesn't matter because I'm a winner. See, winners don't feel bad when, about cheating or whatever they need to do to win. As long as they win... All right, so yeah, that's the last one we need. Nice. Yeah, if you just show um the guy in Akiba, an Akiba, um, Akiba, like just one card though, he's just like, oh wow, you beat the thing. Go and see if you can beat all the other games. And I'm just like, okay, sure. I mean, I'm a video game master, dude. I can do it. I beat Street Fighter. Yeah, I did. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, did you beat Punch-Out? Mike Tyson Punch-Out? And I'm just like, hell yeah, I did. <sighs> oh, excuse me, I'm so sleepy today. Oh, Ben Badge. And I beat the game of life. <laughs> no, dude, that's not how- That's not how the game of life works. People don't get in your way and make you play a dice game. <laughs> that's not what I remember. Star Fornius. Probably like Star Gladiator. is bad, and then you beat golf. <laughs> yes, I'm good at golfing. <laughs> that is fantastic. And then the golf badge. What do you want? And then that's it. Uh, and I'm just like, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm surprised you don't get like an ultimate reward or anything. So, um, I don't know if you're, it's just limited to just you though, but I mean, you could probably give it to anyone else to be honest. 
Yeah, reduces physical damage, high chance. That's pretty good, actually. And then, you know, you have uh, evade physical and uh, null hunger. Bet and bad did null fear and null brainwash. So we have three of them that are pretty useless, though, because I don't use any of that. Need to worry about that. And I just like checking this out. <laughs> it's a way of life, Morgana. It's a way of life. All right, so that's pretty much it for the video games. Uh, next time is Shido Dungeon. It, it, yeah, I said that after fishing, but I, I lied. 